morning. <clears throat> Let's talk about rules and regulations for our farmer's market. Um, just some things that we took in, at, into consideration. And we don't really call them rules or regulations. We call them guidelines uh, because we're, we're for, for one, I don't know if we want to sound so, you know, harsh. But at the same time, you do want to kind of set a standard. <clears throat> And you know we're a fairly or this is my second year managing the farmers market so I kind of want people to know that like it it is a serious matter like we are really doing this intentionally not just because it's a trendy thing to do uh, markets have been around for centuries okay it is not new farmers markets are not new or the concept of a farmers market are not new this is how people I mean back biblical days you know just you know came together and sold their stuff at a market um, there are civilizations all over the world that are still you know that that's how they make their money everybody comes together at a market day and they they plant they sow they harvest for the market right they they develop their products what whatever it is for market day um, and so that's how everybody shops. So it's not, I mean, in the Western civilization, it may be a trendy thing, but it's definitely not something new. So we, we're just working on, you know, still setting the stage for the market, growing the market, figuring out who we want to be, what do we want to represent, how do we want uh, to engage the community. Um, and a lot of that is through community feedback and vendor feedback and so we always welcome vendors especially um, to tell us how the market is going what are some things that they would change for that day or what are some things we want to try so but let's get back to the 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 guidelines per se the gladiolas are coming in yay I think I mentioned in a video that they were snapdragons they're not they're gladiolas I don't know why I said that anyway so guidelines um, so we ask that all vendors bring their own tables and chairs just because that would be a huge hassle to have to supply those in their own canopy tents they get a 10 by 10 space um, and so they can cram as much as they want to in that space um, we also ask that all vendors display their prices for their products and um, <clears throat> that it's just legible somewhere and clear if they are selling baked goods or anything edible um, we do ask that they also, if it's not already on the packaging, that they display allergens for those products or if there are allerg allergens in the products. Um, everybody sets up an hour before market starts um, or between 9 and 9.45. Our market starts at 10 a.m. And they're not allowed to break down um, until 1.30 or later. 1.30 sold out or uh, later okay and so we closed the market at two o'clock this year um, we tried pre-registration for the market to just get some vendors to solidify their spaces for the season um, and so we released an application in February uh, most markets start to release their applications in March or April uh, we just tried to get a head start on the season and that, it, it was okay. I think I think submitting applications and actually paying all the fees up front is two totally different things. So, <laughs> um, you know, uh, we did give a discount for people that, you know, solidified a spot for the whole season. Uh, but in any event, we ask that vendors pay their fees the day of at the latest. Um, and all those fees are non-refundable. And... So other than that, I mean, there may be some other things, uh, but but we really just want people to have fun. We want people to be able to grow their businesses and uh, meet c new people in the community. We want the community to feel like um, we are providing service and that it's a good service. Um, so we do ask for community feedback all the time. Um, we have some freebies at our market uh, for community members and vendors sometimes. And we try to do some like themed events at the market. Um, and so like if we do things like that and on a regular basis because of COVID restrictions um, there hasn't been many uh, at this time but um, some things that we definitely follow the CDC or try to if there's anything happening you know and um, make sure that we're just being healthy like I, I made or, or not made but we requested that all vendors have um, sanitizer at their stations 
um, they can choose to mask up or not because we're outside but um, so there was no mask mandate for our market last year nor this year but <clears throat> you know just just trying to be more you know maybe not letting all the customers touch everything or if if you could provide a sample and um, that would be great but the samples need to be pre-packaged now um, that kind of thing so um, other than that <clears throat> we want the vendors to decorate their booths we want them to you know it's their business so so you know present your business and your products to the people any way you want to so we've had people have lights on on their their vendor booths their tents and canopies um you know music going fog machines i mean you know whatever they want to do um is fine with us as long as there's nothing like uh profanity or um you know anything inappropriate um at their stands we're, we're good with that um, this year, vendors, we've gotten a lot of requests from people that we normally don't, um, businesses especially, that we normally don't, like insurance companies, cell phone companies, and things like that. And I think it just depends on <clears throat> solar companies, gutter companies wanting to set up a tent or a canopy or have a space. And I think it just depends on what kind of market you want uh, for the people. And so there, there's a few that we've not I'm, I mean we've received 45 I think applications this year and there were only two that we declined and one of those I can't remember the other one but one of those was like a guy that wanted to sell his gun business like like he does classes on how to um, I think this is what it was to shoot guns I you know nah. to me I nah like I just I didn't want that but you know solar company there are a lot of predatory companies out here in the world and I feel like I just can't keep everything from everybody so it is up to the customer to make those choices for themselves right now whether or not I make it available for them at the market is is my role and so we may do that um, this community takes care of their homes I mean like we I'm in a very peaceful nice place um, that is still <laughs> considered to be um, part of the city that doesn't get much attention but people take care of their things they try to live a great quality you know have a great quality of life and, and just live life and enjoy themselves and I feel like they're the homeowners do take care of their homes um, in our community and so you know gutter companies or solar panels or whatever you know maybe maybe that's a little we, we we're gonna try it and see how it goes but you know I don't know I guess it just depends on what you want as a market manager so I hope that helps um, everyone get some idea about regulations that we have for vendors um, and you know and the guest regulation is only that just people act right act like you got your sense, got some sense um if you if there's any disputes or confrontations between uh vendors and guests we ask that they find a market manager which is myself or um Haley, and we can help resolve that issue or try to help but other than that you know just have a good time people have fun Till next time, you all, I love y'all so much. And we'll holler at you later. Hey, hey, hey. Peace.